The second of the Henkei Decepticon 3-pack that I will be reviewing is Astro Train. This mold was originally from the Classics line, so I believe this is the first um, Chugs triple changer that they attempted. So that's pretty cool. Happy to have him. And then obviously he was re-released in the Henkei, Henkei line. So He is a presumably a Japanese bullet train of some sort. He's purple, which is awesome. I'll pretty much get any purple Transformers, so yeah. This area back here is a little strange, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's a Transformer. Would've been cool if maybe this wing was like two halves and this part split out and filled in the other part there. That'd be kind of neat, but also classics line. So 2006, I'd be asking a little much, I think maybe. For a size comparison, here he is. Here is Hound. So he's about two hounds. And he's pretty thin. So at least won't have to feed him very much. To transform him into his first other vehicle mode. Pop the weapon off. Pull these out. Flip it up. We'll make sure that that's all clipped in and these are underneath these things. Split these up. Them up. Flip around. Popping ball joints left and right today for some reason. Weird. Alright, so you want to plug these in on the side here. And you also probably want to have these up because the wheels here will fit into these little grooves in the wing. So plug these in. Which might take some doing. By some doing, I mean a decent amount of doing. Alright, so once you get it set up like that, you fold this back over, and the wings should match up with the holes. Which is perfect. And you can flip this guy around. Flatten this out to become the fin. And this will fold up and around and plug it into the top. Then you can fold out the very tight landing gear. Uh, 
this. Hopefully you won't have to pry it out. There you go. And these landing gear are fixed. And his gun will mount underneath. And there you have Astro Train in his space shuttle mode. I am pretty fond of this. I mean, yeah, obviously he has giant train things hanging off of his sides, but again, it's a damn transformer, so whatever. This is a functional, I mean, this is semi-aerodynamic. Could probably get into space if it was strapped onto a giant rocket. Maybe. Who knows? You don't know. You don't know. Just looks cool. They did a good job with the gray and purple paint scheme. And it's a good chunky solid mold. It holds together very, very well in this mold mode. Uh, it has these wheels up here, which is kind of lame, but they're not super obvious. I mean, they're not any more obvious than the giant train cockpits. I think it pulls it off. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I have a low bar for Transformers. Who knows. One thing that annoys me, this, this, this back here. I wish this was more clicky so it stayed straight. So if that's the biggest complaint I can make about the figure, I consider that a win. Here he is next to Cyclonus. Do you transform him into his robot mode? Undo this. Undo this whole thing. Pop that back in there. It's apparently much easier than taking it out. Unplug the sides here. Pull. You separate the legs. And separate the individual parts of the legs. Take this whole part and twist it up. And plug it in on the side here. There's a peg there and a hole. Just goes up. And I shouldn't have folded that. Ah, it's much easier. You can actually grab the side of the thing on this. So fold this up and around. Out Get his legs. We want to separate this, which is obnoxious. The way these are designed, they're flat, so when you close the thing, it really does snap together pretty well. It's kind of floppy, but these two have stay together and to get it apart is just obnoxious. It's basically really tight until you get it to snap open and then you can push it down further. These will fold up like shoulder pads. And these bits will slide out. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any way to lock them, but you can bend the arm up and then they won't go in anymore because of the plastic up here. Can 
open up the back, pop out the head, close the back up, fold all this stuff up, you want to fold this up, these two jet bits will fit through the holes, which will fit into those areas on the back. And there you have Astro Train in his robot mode. Give him his weapon. And here he is. And I definitely like this figure. All three of his modes did it for me, and this robot mode definitely works for me. It looks like Astro Train, but it's updated. And that's exactly what I want from Classics and Generations and stuff. For a comparison, here he is with Orion Pax. Here he is next to Cup. And here he is next to his three pack mate, Octane. For articulation, you can bend these wings back all the way if you'd like, or you can have them flat like they were. You have ball joints here, and inward and outward movement, although these cable bits kind of get in the way. You can bend the arm, but remember if you keep it down, this can close back up again, so you need to have it at least bent to there for it to stay out. You have a ball joint at the elbow, and no wrist articulation. His head is on a ball joint, which gets a decent range of motion, and also the transformation joint moves a little bit, so he can do some kind of head bobbin to sport. Head bobbin. He has really tight inward and outward movement at his hips, which sometimes feels like you're going to break the figure. Then he has a joint there and a joint here, so that's some super poseable legs you got there. You have knee swivel kind of, yeah, it's like below the knee swivel, just weird shin swivel, and then you have that. You can have the wings like that, closed all the way back or all the way flat, which is pretty much the G1 show accurate way to do it, I believe. So, yep, final thoughts, this guy's awesome. He's everything I want in a Decepticon. He's purple, he's tough looking, he's got fun transformations and decent looking alt modes. He's a triple changer. His kibble is good looking and functional. The arm bits here are the only thing that I'm not super fond of. I wish that they clicked out or something. 
or maybe folded back. That would be better. If they started out like this and then like folded back around the arm, that would be cool. But again, this is from 2006, so it's expecting a little much. Great, great figure. Recommend. And that's Astro Train. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.